The government of St. Lucia, with assistance from the Disaster Vulnerability Reduction Project, DVRP, has embarked on an initiative to reduce the frequency of flooding in the Denry region. More from Homer Mark. Because of the smell of the mud, I took, I said there's flooding. I call them, tell them, try and see what they can lift up to put in the house because the water was coming in like it's the sea that was there. This is an all too familiar story. Downpour, high tide, poor drainage, and a village at the mercy of Mother Nature. Denry village is below sea level, basically. And when the tide is high, water comes in through the drainage system and builds up. I'm the parliamentary rep. When it rains in Denry, I can't sleep, okay? Much less the, the, the individuals who live in the low-lying area. On October 6, 2010, Hurricane Thomas inundated the village of Denry. The flooding was aggravated not only by torrential downpour, but a very poor drainage system. Fast forward 10 years, same date October 6, 2020, Mother Nature returned with the same theory. Over 8 inches of rain and predictably a flooded village of over 5,000 residents. Sometimes the water will go inside of the shop. Um, I have goods that damage already for the sake of the flooding. Sometimes I, if I buy, um, buy some goods, like today, tomorrow will flood, I have to throw the things. November 17, 2020, the skies opened up and once again, Denry was a casualty community. The government of St. Lucia, with the assistance of the Disaster Vulnerability Reduction Project, the VRP, have embarked on an initiative to reduce the frequency of flooding in this region with a meticulously engineered drainage system. This drain where we are here now, it's coming from an area called Green Mountain. They stopped into it at one point up behind the school. And that is where most of the water coming down to the main drain is. So until this subside a little, then the other one carry. But now with what they're doing now, they have widened it and you have the turn as it go with the turn. So with the water pressure, both of them would be running parallel to each other. It picks it up and that should make a difference, a big difference. The drainage network is designed to efficiently channel stormwater into various courses to accommodate up to a one in 25 year rainfall event. The system includes a series of interconnected open drains, slab drains, and road culvert crossings, totaling approximately 1,000 meters. We are doing the structural concrete now, which is the drain we're building, excavating, putting in the rebars, casting the bottom formwork. We are doing everything simultaneously. As we go along, a team ahead, the concrete team follow, the formwork team follow. The Denry South Flood Mitigation Contract was awarded through a competitive bidding process at a cost of 3 million EC and is expected to be completed within six months. The DVRP aims to build flood resistance communities across St. Lucia, one project at a time. From the Government Information Service, Hilma Mark reporting.